Welcome to Power User with Crash Long Johns. That's me. Today's episode, we're doing a Cat 2 adaptive card, how to handle multiple choice results. This is going to tie together SharePoint, Column, and Power Automate and adaptive card. Make sure that when the adaptive card goes to Teams, that's actually going to show those results and what those multiple results could be. In our scenario, let's say again, we're going to fill out our trail power app and when i fill out a trail i'm going to have multiple bike selections and with that what's been taking place is if i do that and then try to build my automate with the power adaptive card and when i put in that particular field it wants to apply to each and just loop it which that doesn't work because the adaptive card fails thus I had to figure a way to get around that well today we're going to show exactly how to handle when you have a multi-select column that is being tied either to your power app or just to the SharePoint list itself, but you want to send an update with the power with an adaptive card. So with that, let's get started and jump over the computer. Now that we're at the computer, you see that we already have our power automate opened up here and we're having our trigger, an automated trigger when an item is created. Let's go ahead and pick our site address. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and pick our crash long johns. We are going to get our list of trails. We're going to go ahead and do new step. Now in this new step, we're going to go ahead and initialize. And we're going to initialize a variable. We're going to give it a name. In this case, I'm going to say bike type. We're going to change the boolean and we're going to do an array and we're going to leave our value blank we're going to do a new step and now we are going to append to array variable we're going to pick our bike type and now our value is going to be actually bike type value so bike selection value in this case that now has done the apply to each, which we're okay with that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do a new step and we're going to do join. Down here, we're gonna do a join or data operation. This one's gonna be from, and it's gonna be our variable bike type. Join with, and we're just gonna, gonna do a comma. And last now, we're going to go ahead and do our post adaptive card. We're going to do that post adapt card in a chat or channel. We're going to go ahead and do the flow bot. We're going to post this in a channel. We're going to pick our team. Which in this case, we're going to do our comp test. And then we're going to go ahead and pick the channel, which we're going to go ahead and do attachments. And actually, let's take that back. We're going to do general. And now we've got our adaptive cards. We're going to go ahead and paste in our adaptive card information. In this case, where I have the X's, I'm going to go ahead and replace those X's. So I'm going to wait for the box to pull up a little higher. So our area, we're going to go ahead and change that to our title. And then we are going to do our trail name. And we're going to pick our trail name. We're going to do our trail type. We're going to pick our trail type value. Our bike type or types. We're going to do our bike selection value. Let's see, that's right there. It created that applied each that I was telling you about. So exactly because again, that particular Selection is a multi select column in SharePoint. We're going to go ahead and remove this one. We're going to delete it out. Now, if we do the new step, let's go ahead and add back in our post adapted card in a chat or channel. We're going to go ahead and still do the flow bot. We're going to do our channel. We're going to pick our team. Again, we've got our comp test. We're going to go general. 
And then we're going to do our adaptive cars. Let's go ahead and paste that information in. Now again, we're going to do our area. So let's get our box a little higher. There we go. So let's put in our area again, our title, trail name, again, our trail name, our trail type value. Now, when we get to our bike types, that's the one we're replacing, and we're going to do our join and put in the output. And then our difficulty, we're going to put in our difficulty value. And we're all set. There we go. So let's go ahead and save that. Now that's been saved, let's go ahead and test. We're going to do a manual test. We're going to go to our power app and we're going to give us a title and we're going to say, let's go with Payson and trail name. Let's say barefoot. Rider. Crash Junior. Trail type mountain. Now here we got our bike selection. Well, that could be the Jameis or the Santa Cruz. Difficulty, we're going to give it an intermediate comments. Good overall trail, good climbs, and fun downhill. Go ahead and submit that. Now, if we go back to our Power Automate, we see that it's running. We're going to just wait for that to actually succeed. There it did. So now, if we go to our Teams will see the actual message, and there it is. So, didn't fail. We got trails added, we got area pacing, barefoot, mountain, and there is both of our selections. So, if you like that, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thanks for stopping by. Until next time, keep learning.